I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my channel. Let me thank all the viewers and subscribers for watching my videos and posting suggestions. Here is a request from one of our subscribers, Arum. Arum, thanks a lot for this request and I hope many of our students will benefit from your suggestion and question. Now we look into shading of Venn diagrams. So I have about eight Venn diagrams to discuss. We'll actually shade to represent union, intersection and complements. Complements means not that set. And then what you need to do is to link equivalent diagrams. Well, there's only a couple of them which will be equivalent. So after shading, you will know which ones are equivalent. We also have mathematical proof. I'll provide you with a link which will show you how to prove that complement of intersection of two is equal to union of the complements, for example. Correct? Okay. So let's begin this exercise. Some of you can actually pause the video, copy this particular question and shade the required regions. What you need to shade is written here. So for A, it is A intersection B, then complement of A intersection B, C is A union B complement, D is union of, we can say complement of union A and B, intersection of complements of A and B, now S is the universal set, you see S written there, so S is the universal set. So we want intersection of the universal set with set A. Union of complements of A and B and union of A with A complement. Okay, so let's begin with the very first one which says A intersection B, which means common to both. The region common to both is right there, right? So this is common to both. Simple. The next one here is complement of intersection of A and B. This complement, that bar or a dash here, means not what is inside. So not what is this, that means everything outside, right? So let me just shade everything outside and I'll not shade anything which is common to both, right? That is the whole idea, right? So, so you have to stop here and then continue from that. So that is complement of A intersection B. Now, we get to slightly crit critical one. We're trying to combine union of set A with complement of B. So let's try to see what we're trying to do here. So when I say union means we have to combine, so not B means everything outside. Do you see that? Not B is this. I'm purposely using something which is not very bright, so it's not going to really uh, damage whatever we are doing, but it will help us to understand. So that means not B, but all what is A, right? So. So we want everything which is A, union, not B, right? So that is what we mean. So A is all this and not B is everything outside. So that means the only portion which we do not have to shade is this portion because A is what? A is all this, right? And so only that portion remains. So what we are going to shade now is everything here, which is not B, perfect, and also A, correct? So that is what is being shaded. So I hope that is clear. But we'll leave this portion. You get an idea, right? So that is how we are going to shade it. So this is union of A and complement B. Perfect. The next one here is, we have to see what is union on, of A and B and its complement. Means not union of A and B. It really means not inside this portion. So let me mark this boundary. 
so we'll shade outside this boundary we don't want this right so everything outside this is going to be shaded now so let's shade this everything outside Perfect. So I hope by now you have learned the technique of shading. i like you to pause the video, shade the other four, and then check with my solutions, right? So let's look into the next one, which is very interesting. We need to find intersection of what is not A and which is not B. That means everything which is outside A and B. Do you get the idea? So that is what it is. So let's shade it. Okay, so that is intersection of not A and not B. Now, we are now comparing with the universal set and we want subset, I mean intersection of A with the universal set. So that means the set A itself, right? So that is the set A. The next one here is union of not A and not B, right? So not A, let's use dots. Not A means everything outside. Do you see that? Not A. So everything outside is not A. And uh, what is not B? Not B is everything outside like this. Do you see that? That is not B. Everything outside B. So that means if I leave this portion, which is common to both A and B, I should shade rest of it. So that's what I'm going to do. So that is what it is, right? So with the help of Venn diagrams, we can actually prove many identities based on set, unions, intersections, and complements. Perfect. The last one here is, Union of A and its complement, you know, union of A and its complement is the whole universal set, right? So it is everything here. Perfect. So you find that this is equal to the universal set S and this is equal to the set A. Can you find some other sets which are equivalent? watch carefully and then write down your answers so what do you notice here is that what is this equivalent to d which is a union b complement so that means everything outside a and b it is equivalent to the intersection of not a and b do you see that it is equivalent to the intersection of not a and b right so that is one relation which you see. You find that D is equal to E, right? So that is one thing which you notice. Now you can actually prove it algebraically also. I'll provide you with a link which will help you to understand how to prove this algebraically. Got it? Do you find any other uh, interesting things which are related? Right? So. Oh, uh, here while I was shading, I didn't shade this. I have to only leave that portion, right? So this should have been shaded. Good, I saw it, right? So, okay. When we said union of not A and not B, we, we marked this, right? Those dots means it was marked, correct? So not inside the intersection. That is what it means. So basically, you see that these two are also related. Got it? So from here, what we notice is that the intersection of A and B and its complement is equal to the union of complements of A and B. Correct? So that is another important relation which we see from here. So we find that B 
is basically equal to g correct so that is another uh, relation which you see from these diagrams by shading now as i said take it as an exercise to prove this algebraically perfect and you can always watch my videos for the complete proof i hope that really helps so i'll take up another quiz for you based on what we have done with a twist to it uh, and uh, let's see if you really understood the topic feel free to write your comments and share your views if you like and subscribe to my videos that'd be great thanks for watching and all the best